She's jazz. Yes, yes, yes. She's smart. It's the Jazzy Report on the D.L. Hughley Show. A federal judge blocked a Trump administration rule requiring immigrants to prove they will have health insurance or can afford medical care before they can get visas. It's not clear when the judge will rule on the merits of the case. The ruling was the latest in a string of court decisions to derail White House initiatives aimed at limiting the admission of certain legal immigrants into the U.S. You mean brown and black ones. Let's just black, say that. Brown and black folk. Let's just say that. Mm-hmm. He's losing awful. a lot. You saw where he just had to hand over his taxes. Even yeah. after he appealed, he lost it. So yeah. they're like, and they say that's why papers. he's trying to move to Florida. Yep. Yep. You yeah. need to see yeah. all those papers. That's why he's trying to move to Florida. Listen, uh, before you go, uh, drop that off. <laughs> yeah, like, please. Uh, we need, <laughs> you don't need you, that. You, you can go, but we need the evidence. <laughs> all of it. All of it. So a new study from Harvard University says people who usually run late tend to be happier and live longer. The study says people who are running late are often operating with a sense of calm and that it's quite possibly adding years to their lives. The research also found that optimistic people have less chance of developing high blood pressure and heart disease Mm. as optimism appears to protect the heart and circulation. Mm. I'm late, but I'm not optimistic. So what does that mean? Well, that babes, you, it cancels each other out. You're going to live long but be bitter. I'm just saying. Ah, there it is. Ah, there it is. There it is. All right. An 11-year-old Zimbabwe girl rescued her friend from a crocodile. The girl heard her friend screaming. What? Saw the crocodile pulling her underwater, so she jumped into the water, got Ooh. on top of the croc, Ooh. and gouged its eyes out, Whoa. which caused him to loosen its grip. That's mm. uh, then they both swam back to shore. The victim escaped with just minor injuries. Let me tell you something. I love <laughs> that. Them black girls and her best friend. Uh uh-uh. uh. Let me tell you something. She better not never say nothing. She better come to every recital, yes. every uh, bur- baby shower. It ain't even got to be that every- big. She just better come when I call her, period. Right, right. Uh, you know what, Maybelline? You wouldn't even be here if I let that crocodile <laughs> drag your ass off. First of all, if she's 11 named Maybelline. <laughs> I, I save you from a predator. Yeah, well, I'd stop a crocodile from dragging your ass away. How about now. that? So... Over the weekend, I read uh, Reddit, a, a Reddit user, you know, which is Reddit. I usually don't read because it's, I, well, I read it, but it's it's very. Every which, cr- woo, it's, man. It is some weird stuff. <laughs> like but one of the uh, 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 readers replied that we shouldn't teach our boys not to hit girls. We should teach people that if you hit somebody, get prepared to hit, get hit back. That's fair. Uh, do you agree? That we shouldn't teach our sons not to hit girls. We should teach our girls that if you hit somebody, get prepared to get hit back. Mm. And I mm. I think we live in a country right now where just the idea that I feel threatened by you can cost you your life. So mm. everything is the antithesis of that. And I remember our parents, my mama told me specifically, if you big enough to get hit, you big enough to get hit back. Don't put your hands on somebody unless you want to get hit back. So uh, do you agree if uh, we shouldn't teach our girl boys not to hit girls, we should teach our girls that if you hit somebody, you're going to get hit back? 877-242-2426. Also, send us up on Twitter at D.L. Hughley Radio or on Facebook, the D.L. Hughley Show. And, of course, our website is the D.L. Hughley Show.com. All right. We are waiting for your calls. It's the D.L. Hughley Show. Hey, fam. Hit D.L. up on Facebook and on Twitter at the D.L. Hughley Show.